How much is in this demo? Dorm room. Alright. Today is the first day of my new academic life here. I should try my hardest. Oh, school route. Morning. What up, clots? Ooh, nice uniform. I had a feeling a god's gift would get a special one. That's so cool. And you get to live in such a sweet pad, too. You're so lucky. New jelly? Well, I've got to work hard, so I get to live in a place like that, too. We'll work hard together. It's a really nice place. You'll never do it. <laughs> Should we be mean to clots? I mean, come on. Let's say we'll work hard together. Definitely. Right. If we're going to be classmates, we should be getting along. Well, people do say that home is where you make it. There are a lot of disciples living in my dorm, so it's nice and lively. There are only S ranks in your place, right? Doesn't it feel empty? No. I've only been here for one day. It's hard to say. But just you watch. I'll be better than you in no time. I don't know about that, Klotz. You really think so? You try to punch? You try to punch a monster and then you fell on your ass. I don't know. Morning, you two. <laughs> What's going on, Fuko? Yesterday was rough, huh? Oh, yeah. You guys classmated yesterday. Hey! So, how was it? You guys have to tell me how it went. Dude, that's personal business, man. Uh, hey, uh, I think it's against the rules to ask about it, Klotz. Really? Isn't it a holy ritual? Well, I'm just asking for educational purposes. What the? Who is this? Who is this? Hmm. Um, good morning. Do you need something? What's that? Oh, um, well, see ya. Whoa, whoa, you're pretty smooth, aren't you? <laughs> just got here yesterday and you already have girls running up to talk to you? Oh god. No. I don't know that girl. <laughs> that stranger would just run up to you like that and say hello. She was smiling and happy and everything. I guess she heard about my exploits yesterday. I guess she heard that I'm God's gift. She was cute. <laughs> I really don't know her though. Maybe you've just forgotten about her. You think so? Guys, I can see the academy. Yo, the academy looks like a, a giant uh finger. Whoa! This is a Terra Academy. We in the faculty office, son. Excuse us. I, I like the music. It's all jazzy. Yes, may I help you? Who the hell? Hi, it's you, class. Oh, you must be a ladies' man too. <laughs> already have a cute girl calling you by name also. <laughs> um, it's not what it looks like. She looks like Sharia from Tales of Grace's F. Am I missing something? I thought you had to wear a uniform here at this school. Oh, there's an explanation behind that. She may not look it, but Sis is a teacher here. She's a teacher? She's your sister! What the? Thank you for looking after my brother. My name is Chloe. And I'll be in charge of your class. Chloe. It's nice to meet you all. Wow, so she's like Quidditch from Final Fantasy VIII. What, his sister is our teacher? And she's an S rank too. Let me guess, an elite. And you're a fellow S rank, Fuko. Isn't that right? Of all people, I had to get my own sister to be my teacher. <laughs> Body. Now that's odd. I thought I told you before that I was in charge of the second year elite class. Elite, huh? Oh, I think you may have mentioned that somewhere. Ah, so that explains his earlier uh, reaction. Hold on, give me a second. There's a phone call. Shut up, phone. I'm tired of your phone. Wireless caller, I don't know you. I don't know you. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, that would explain why he was like, it's in my blood. Apparently his sister was an elite as well. So, okay, that's why he was acting like he was going to become an elite s rank. Same as always. I guess I still have to look after you. I am your older sister after all. Stop treating me like a kid. You're only one year older than me. Hmm? Really? That's interesting. My sister got excellent scores, skipped a few grades, and now she's a teacher. Damn, skipped a few grades. Is that even possible? I've never had anyone i known skip grades. When she got her brand last year, she transferred to the academy to teach here. 
She may not look it, but she graduated with the top scores in her college class at 14. God damn! She wrote her thesis on battle tactics, too. That paper has been used by the government as an official damn. of ground combat. If her thesis is being used by the government, god damn she legit. Looks really are deceiving, aren't they? She's legit then. That part wasn't really necessary, Claus. Well then, I'll be introducing you three to the rest of the class. Oh, and no sleeping during lectures, okay? Mm -mm. I don't know about all that. You haven't seen my Persona 4 playthrough. So that's God's gift. Oh my god. God's gift, after all. GG, bros. All right, everyone settle down. <laughs> you three can take your seats, too. All right. Well, Vice President Narika, since the class president is out today, please start the day off for us. Uh, uh, yes, uh, everyone. Ridiculous. Already ridiculous. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Chloe. Everyone, take your seats. You all right? Oh, I'm all right. It's just that I don't normally do the morning greeting, so I was kind of nervous. <laughs> You're cute. You get stage fright. I guess we're seat neighbors. <laughs> Yo. Yes. I hope we get along well. Yeah. In any case, it's nice to meet you. No, this world is made of six elements: fire, aqua, wind, earth. Okay. What are the remaining two? Narika. They're ether and dust. So light and dark. Okay. That's correct. It's also said that ether is light and dusk is darkness. Called it. However, the dusk circles that threaten the world now are overflowing with dusk energy. Dusk is the element that is said to preside over mankind's desires. Hmm. The dusk circles are unique and frightening spaces where ether does not exist. Obviously, our star energy cannot be used in spaces without ether particles. That's why disciples cannot normally fight monsters within the dust circles. Two of the dusk circles are already active close to here. Our comrades are fighting there day and night. Alec, you've been participating in battles against the monsters recently, correct? The number of monsters pouring out of the circles is increasing by the day. There have been many casualties as well. My own experience is that if we continue to fight outside the circles, it'll never end. The same can be said about the circle here at the Fort City. Even then, we've finally seen the light. This is because a God's gift has been granted to us. A GG. Just call me GG's, guy. Come on, just call me a GG. I'm here. I'm here to bop anyone and anything that gets in our way. Just call me GG. <gasps> yes, I know. Now, because he can create his own ether field, the God's gift allows us to fight monsters even within the dust circles. <gasps> On top of that, he's perfectly compatible with female disciples. His star conception rate with an S rank disciple is a hundred percent. They're freaking that, out. That was uncalled for. But going into circles that no one has ever gone into, isn't that nerve wracking? Yeah. Of course I'm nervous about it. But if that will help us exterminate the monsters, I'll gladly go in. Wow. I was getting what, jelly over there. Too, Narika? Oh, wow. We're the same rank. Let's be friends. <laughs> Ellie from the first year elite class and Fuko and Narika from the second year elites. Well, these three please come to the headmaster's office. Mm -hmm. That was sis. Mm -hmm. I wonder what they need us for. Let's go together, Narika. Hey. There you go. Did you know this? At the end of the winter... The Academy holds a special party. It's called the Star Conception Festival. Supposedly, it's a party where the male disciples ask out the female disciples. 
It's supposed to enhance the friendships between class meeting partners. But nowadays, most disciples attend it as couples. Yep. And the important part is that couples with great class meeting capability it said they get blessed by the star god and live happily ever after. Screw this, I'm going for the harem, son. I ain't asking nobody, I'm asking everybody. The battery level is low. God damn it. You can't miss an opportunity like this, right? Come on, don't you think so? Sounds like fun. Yeah. You're kidding me. That's it, no excitement whatsoever? <sighs> I came to this academy to slay monsters. Seriously? <sighs> Maybe I'm getting too excited about the girls when this is a serious situation. <laughs> yeah. Given our circumstances, I think it's okay. I think we need events like this precisely because of the bleakness of the times. Right? <laughs> but man, I was shocked to find out that Narika is an S rank too. She seemed like a, such a, a gentle girl. You really think so? Can't judge people by how they look, man. Right. Ali looks and acts like an honor student from any school, though. Oh. All right. I should probably thank him from yesterday. Hey, can I bother you for a moment, bro? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sorry I didn't speak up sooner, but thanks for helping yesterday. You don't have to thank me. It's a part of our mission. Well, that's not nice. Still, you were a great help. Thanks. Hmm. That reminds me, I didn't finish our tour. Tell me if you like to do it. Got it. I see. Hmm. I have a strange, or I have a strategy meeting to attend, if you'll excuse me. He seems like an indifferent guy. Alex is second year elite. He has the highest grades out of anybody. In other words, he's the king of Nemesis Hunters. True that. It's got a cool ring to it. He also manages the def he manages the defensive lines of the port city. That's why everyone expects a lot from him, and he gets a lot of special treatment. Yep. That reminds me, there are, are only a few S rank disciples here at the academy, right? There are four S ranks here right now, including Fuko. There are only two male disciples, including Alec. Actually, there are a couple more, but they're all fighting on the continent. Really? With the God's gift of the second year elite class, come to the headmaster's office. I repeat, God's gift, GG, please report to the headmaster's office. See ya. Looks like it's your turn now. Make sure you tell me about it later. Alright. Headmaster's office. All the girls are here. Hey. My Dougie. My Dougie. Oh. All the girls love me. My my Dougie. My Dougie. My Dougie. Oh. All, all the girls love me. My Dougie. <laughs> so you must be early then. Well, looks like this is everyone. Looks like this is everyone. Oh, she just said that. The headmaster has something important to tell us. Listen carefully to everything he has to say. Huh? What the? The high priest is the headmaster of the academy? <laughs> That's right. There's a reason I called you all here today. Wow. I believe that Chloe has already told the girls about this. Because you are all s rank disciples, you will all be going into the dusk circles that have activated. Of course, you will be accompanying them, God's gift. What the? What a moment. I thought it would be me and the star children going into the circles. I believe I mentioned this before. The star children display their full power when receiving star energy from females. What? In other words, the star children and female disciples are of one flesh. Really? That and your star conception rate with God's gift are why you have been chosen. If we fight together and strengthen our bonds, we'll make better star children. Yes, yeah, social links. Note that we are going to places that are very dangerous. The disciples with the highest rate of survival were prioritized for this task. Hmm. I see. Don't worry, though. I'll keep you all safe. I'll protect you if I can. You're all stronger than me. Let's say I'll keep you all safe. I'm all right. <laughs> Whoa. He's so encouraging. <laughs> we are currently oh requesting my God. approval to infiltrate the dusk circles. Once this request is approved, you will immediately be sent to the active circle. That is all. I know that things are going to be tough from this point on, but for the sake of world peace, let's all do our best in battles and in class meeting. Ah, how oh, I so envy that young lad. Class oh my god. So many charming ladies. This guy is such a pervert! Uh, did you say something, sir? Uh, make sure you train yourselves before going into actual battle with the monsters. Well then, please excuse me. 
About the training that he mentioned, we can use the battle simulator at Angel Marker R&D to do that. Okay, cool. You were all there for the qualifying exam, so you know where it is, correct? Well then, you're dismissed for today. Take care, everyone. All right, school route. Uh -huh. Does that mean you might be classmating with my sister? Huh? Do you have a problem with that? <sighs> if I said I did, I already know what Chloe would say. What a stupid thing to worry about when the whole world's in danger. Yep, she's totally get angry over that. Yeah. Alright, it's only because of the world threat, but I give you my approval. Good. I'm glad I have your blessing to make children with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> now that doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> Alright, can I save the game now? About the city map, you can meet the heroines... Trigger events or buy weapons all by selecting certain locations on the map. By leveling up the city, you can unlock new facilities, new items, and other things. When something new is unlocked, a message will be displayed on the screen as a notification. Alright, dorm room, you can check statuses, edit team formation, save or load. So that's what we need to head forces, uh, first, is to the dorm room. Labyrinths, you can enter the death circles, basically the, the, uh, the dungeons. You can perform class mating at the church. You can meet up to the heroines, you can only meet up to three heroines before you need to wait for some time to pass. So we can meet up with three people at the academy in one day. That's cool. You can buy and sell equipment and items here, rather than one social link per day in Persona, you know. A training facility, a training facility that lets you revisit labyrinths that you have already beaten at a higher difficulty. You can connect with other players to create star children, really? Hearts represent the number of times you can meet with a heroine before you must rest or enter a labyrinth. Alright, bond points represents the amount of BP you currently have. The maximum amount you have will increase when the church levels up. By granting your star children their independence, you can increase the city level, which will cause different things to happen in the city. So, granting my children independence. So, basically kicking them out my house. I think that's how that works, right? In this game, you will venture into the dust circles alongside a heroine to defeat the monsters of the dust within. You can make some time pass in the game by entering the labyrinths or resting in your room. However, there's no time limit in the game, and big time leaps will only occur when you move on with the main story. So it's better to take our... So we really would want to just take our time building relationships with the heroines, basically, so we can get better skills and whatnot. You must develop closer relationships with the heroines and create stronger star children in order to be ready to fight the monsters awaiting in the dust circles. To prepare for exploration, make sure your party is properly outfitted by visiting a shop to purchase items and equipment. Alright. <laughs> this music though. Alright, so immediately what we're going to do is hit up the dorm room. We're going to save the game here. Locked facilities can be unlocked by progressing to the game. I love this. Oh, I gotta feel it. I'm gonna love the soundtrack. Oh, yeah. I got a feeling that's all we gonna hear me do this entire playthrough is hum, hum tunes. I ain't gonna do commentaries. I'm just gonna hum the music. But anyway, by selecting dorm room, you can edit your team formation, sort items and equipment, as well as use the other options from the men menu screen. Sort items, you can check skills, you can equip, team info, you can set actions during autoplay. That sounds interesting. You can switch out team members or let a star child gain its independence. You can check the quest you have currently taken on. Okay. Alright, this is going to be cool. Alright, this game has a lot more than I thought it would have. <laughs> so what we're going to have or do here, we're going to go to system, we're going to save. We're going to take a short break and once we come back, we'll be back with more Conception 2. Demo. Jeez. Like, demos are getting really good nowadays with the Bravely Default demo lasting like six hours if you want it to last six hours. And then this demo will last however long you probably want as well. 